गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू सेवंथ लेक्चर ऑफ इकॉन थ्री सिक्स फाइव दैट इज फार्म मैनेजमेंट प्रोडक्शन एंड रिसोर्स इकोनॉमिक्स इन प्रीवियस टू थ्री लेक्चर्स वी हैव डिस्कस टूडे अबाउट द डिफरेंट प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ फार्म मैनेजमेंट सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग दिस टॉपिक इज अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ फार्मिंग एंड विच आर द फैक्टर्स आर इन्फ्लुएंसिंग द टाइप्स ऑफ फार्मिंग सो कीप इन माइंड types of farming are different and the systems of farming are different in today's lecture we will discuss only about the types of farming in next lecture we will discuss or we will see about the systems of farming now the types of farming which are the types of farming here the specialized farming diversified farming mixed farming dry farming and ranching these are the five types of farming so the type of farming refers to nature and degree of product or combination of product being produced and the method and practices used for their production process is known as the type of farming so what is type of farming it is the nature and degree of product or combination of product being produced and the, which are the methods and practices used to produce or to product used to prepare or used for the production of that particular product that is the types of farming which are those there are five types that is specialized diversified mixed farming dry farming and ranching these names indicates their specialization okay their content about that type of farming so first is specialized farming what is specialized farming when a farm is organized for the production of single commodity or only a one commodity specialized commodity and this commodity is the only one source of income the farm is said to be specialized farm means on the farm of any particular farmer he is producing only one single commodity so that farm is considered as the specialized farm because the major enterprise contributes more than 50% of total income from that particular enterprise or from that farm so such a farms are considered as the specialized farm so for example sugar cane farm cotton farm poultry farm dairy farm is there feed farm etc means specialized farms means the that particular farmer he is getting the more than 50% of income from a single enterprise that is considered as the specialized farming it may be of sugar cane cotton poultry in a cocon area Uh, paddy is there okay so this is about the specialized farming now which are the advantages and disadvantages of specialized farming so first advantage of specialized farming is better use of land second better marketing op- options are there better management of enterprises or better management of resources is possible because of specialized farming then improved skill and working efficiency can be increased then economically to maintain the costly machineries and less requirement of labor so these are the few advantages of specialized farming now on the other side which are the disadvantage of specialized farming so here is the risk factor greater risk risk if crop fails you will fail the whole loss or you will face that particular farmer will face the whole seasonal loss or whole yield loss that is a greater risk soil fertility cannot be maintained because of monocropping fertility degrades or fertility of soil decreases so soil fertility cannot be maintained because of single cropping or monocropping by product cannot be fully utilized income is received only once or twice in a year because of you are getting the 
income only once in year okay because of single crop growing if that farmer is growing only one crop he will get the income once or twice in a year knowledge about enterprises becomes limited means that farmer should have the knowledge of only one knowledge about the only one commodity or only one production practices of that particular crop so these are the disadvantages of the specialized farming now next farming system is totally opposite to specialized farming that is diversified farming that is diversified farming so when a farm is organized to produce several products or number of commodities each of which is itself a direct source of income the farm business is said to be diversified means when a farmer takes a number of products on his farm or cultivation of number of crops on his farm is considered as the diversified farming so each of which means from that several products he will get the direct income so such a farms are considered as the diversified farming okay so in diversified farming no single enterprise contribute the 50% of the total farm incomes as we have seen in a specialized farming only single enterprise contributing the 50% of farm income but here in diversified farming no single enterprise contributing the 50% of total farm income means their sources of income are depends on the several or number of farm enterprises number of different farm enterprises okay now which are the advantages and disadvantages of diversified farming so first most important advantage of diversified farming is that better utilization of productive resources better utilization of productive resources reduction in risk if one crop fails that farmer can cover from another crop if one enterprise fails or if he faces the loss in one enterprise he can cover that loss in another enterprise this is the most important or vital advantage of diversified farming then regular and quicker returns proper utilization of by products okay these are the advantages of diversified farming now on the other hand which will be the disadvantages of diversified farming so supervision will be become difficult because there are the different types or different enterprises that's why the supervision will be difficult because their production processes are different okay so marketing problems are there not economical to maintain the costly machinery for different enterprises that farm or that farmer will need the different types of machineries which will be the costly or it will not economical to that particular farmer or entrepreneur so this is about the specialized farming and diversified farming now next is mixed farming next type of farming is mixed farming so it is the type of farming under which crop production is combined is combined with the livestock raising what is mixed farming it is the type of farming under which or in which the crop production is combined with the livestock raising okay or livestock rearing not raising it's rearing at least 10% of gross income must be contributed by the livestock then it is considered as the mixed farming this contribution in any case should not exceed 49% if it exceed 49% what will happen it will go to the specialized farming so this contribution of livestock should not exceed the 49% of contribution in the total income of that particular farm now which are the advantages of mixed farming so because of combination with livestock rearing the maintenance of soil fertility is easy 
proper use of by products means by products of uh, livestock rearing are the FOIM okay manure is most most important by product from the livestock rearing then facilitate intensive cultivation higher income milch cattle provide dot animals and employment of labor these are the some advantages of the mixed farming now next type of farming is dry farming so cultivation of crops in a regions with annual rainfall here the dry farming is categorized in three parts first dry farming dry land farming and rain feed farming keep in mind dry farming is different dry land farming is different and rain feed farming is different but all the three types comes under the dry farming so first say about what is dry farming dry farming is cultivation of crops in regions which having annual rainfall less than 750 mm what is dry farming the cultivation of crops in a regions which having the or the regions which are receiving the rainfall less than 750 mm is a dry farming so crop failure in a such a dry farming crop failure is most common due to prolonged dry spell during the crop period so this is about the dry farming now next what is dry land farming what is dry land farming so dry farming is that the area which are receiving the or uh, raising of crops in a area which are receiving the rainfall less than 750 mm is a dry farming what to, would be the dry land farming so cultivation of crops in a regions with annual rainfall more than 750 mm what is dry land farming the cultivation of crops in a regions which are receiving the rainfall more than 750 mm it is considered as the dry land farming the moisture conservation practices are necessary for the crop production in dry land farming now last rain feed farming the cultivation of crops in a regions which are receiving annual rainfall more than 1150 mm that is 1150 mm that is a rain feed farming okay so this is about the dry farming dry land farming and rain feed farming now last type of farming last type of farming is ranching what is ranching the practice of grazing animals it may be cattle it may be cows buffalo sheep goat etc on the public lands is called as ranching grazing the animals on the public lands is called as ranching the definition may be asked or fill in the blanks may be asked in your semester end or mid term examination about ranching dash dash is the practice of grazing animals on public lands so your answer would be ranching is the practice of grazing animals on public lands okay so ranch land is not used for raising of crops okay ranching is followed in australia america and tibet so this is about the types of farming so now most important which factors influencing the types of farming on which factor we will decide the types of farming or which factors affects the types of farming uh, the factors they are categorized in a two types that is physical factor and economic factor so as we know physical factors means climate soil topography because of climate climate decides the type of farming because there are different agroclimatic zones in every each agroclimatic zone there is different type of farming then different types of soil because of soil also the types of farming changes topography topography of land it also affect the type of farming okay in different topography there will be the different farming so physical factors now which are the economic factor 
who affects the types of farming first marketing cost which affects the type of farming relative profit profitability of enterprises availability of capital availability of labor land values cycles over and under production competition between enterprises personal likes and dislikes of farming means personal interest of that farmer attack of pest and diseases these are the some factors which are affecting the types of farming so this is about the types of farming the question may be asked in the semester and exam explain in detail about the type of farming or what is type of farming explain the types thank you so you can refer the book of production uh, of fiti raju that is economics of farm production and management and another book by zolan kapoor that is fundamentals of farm business management thank you